Hi everyone, it's Harufoam here and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install shaders with Fabric for Minecraft 1.20 and now without any further ado, let's begin. Alright, so first you'll need to click on the first link in the description down below and it will take you to this page where you can download Fabric for Windows or Universal Jar if you have a Linux or Mac device and just go ahead and click on download and click on save. Now once you go ahead and save it, just open up the folder or file wherever you have downloaded Fabric and once you're over here, just go ahead and double click on the Fabric installer. Now once you double click, you are going to get this installer option and just go ahead and click on install real quickly and it should be done within a few seconds. Alright, now what you need to do is just go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher real quickly. And now once you're in the Minecraft launcher, you're going to see your fabric loader installation right over here. What you want to do is head to installations and over here you want to go ahead and hover over the fabric loader installation and then go ahead and click on this folder icon right over here or folder button and what it should do is open up the .minecraft folder. Now once you're over here, you want to scroll down and search for the mods folder within the .minecraft folder. Double click on this and now what you can do is head to the second link in the description down below alright and it should take you to this page where you can go ahead and download Fabric API. Now you'll require Fabric API for downloading or installing shaders with Iris. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on download and wait for 5 seconds. Now once you have downloaded Fabric API, you're going to have it saved in your folder. Just go ahead and click on it and open up the folder alright. And now what you want to do is open up the mods folder that you had opened before. So I'm just going to open it up. And now what you can do is I'm just going to close this mods folder because it's a double. So I'm going to take this uh, Fabric API and drag it over here into the Minecraft mods folder. And now I'm going to go back to Chrome. And what you want to do now is click on the third link in the description down below. And this will take you to the Sodium download page alright. And once you're in the Sodium page, same thing. You're just gonna hit on download and download sodium 0.53 just go ahead and save it and I'll open up sodium once it has been downloaded or open up the sodium.jar once it has been downloaded and once again you're gonna go ahead and drag this to your mods folder so I'm just gonna open this up and drag sodium to my mods folder now once you do this just head to the fourth link in the description down below and this will be for iris shaders now I'm just gonna go ahead and download this as well and once again the same concept just go ahead and save it open it up on your PC once it has completed downloading and then you're going to go ahead and drag it to your mods folder Minecraft mods folder so I'm going to do this real quick right now and place it right over here and this should be done now once these three are done what you want to do is you head back to dot Minecraft all right and now over here you want to head to shader packs all right double click on shader packs and just open this folder up and now what you can do is go ahead and install any shader of your choice so for me I'm just going to go ahead and download complementary shaders and once you go ahead and save them and download them what you want to do is open up the folder where it has been installed and same drag them to the shader pack folder all right so you want to go ahead and drag your shaders to your shader pack folder under the dot minecraft folder directory and this should be done and now what you can do is just go ahead and relaunch the minecraft launcher all right so once you have opened up the minecraft launcher once again make sure that you have the fabric loader 1.20 installation on or enabled and then just go ahead and hit on play and wait for minecraft to open up real quickly now once you have Minecraft opened up, what you want to do is head to options in the main menu itself and then head to video settings and you should see this new GUI and over here you're going to see shader packs and you can select any of the shader packs that you have installed and go ahead and click on done and then once you enter a world, so I'm just going to go ahead and enter a world and show you guys that the shaders work. Alright, so as you can see, so I've entered the world and shaders work perfectly fine. And yes, this should pretty much cover the video. So if you guys did find it useful, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you aren't already. And see you guys in the next video now. Goodbye.